Mail has arrived. We sweet, have sweet. something new for you, Matt. Okay. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is Matt's only gun that has ever been shipped straight to the door. Because it is a Utah air gun. Utah air gun. The best scope for air guns that exists. Which is bad. Oh my gosh. Okay. Do you have an air gun? You have one or two, don't you? I have one or two. I got my old Daisy. Don't forget that, which is old school. Um, I have another air gun that I really, to be honest, we haven't messed with. But this one seems a lot cooler than all the other ones I have. Okay, that's pretty cool. A little bolt action. Really lightweight. It's an oh, air yeah. gun, right? So it requires less of what the other guns require. For sure. This is a $4,500 setup. It's supposed to do a sub MOA at 100 yards. Obviously, after 100 yards, it's going to deteriorate a little bit, but... Yep. I mean, Crispy does a lot with the air guns, and he's shooting a couple hundred yards, and he's laying down pigs. Oh no shit! Like, yeah. Wow. Legit. Okay. Utah air guns out of out of Orem, Utah. I've um, been to Orem. So this is the 22 cal setup. Design features. APR stands for All Purpose Reticle. So the concept is that the APR C and D variants. The D is dirty, more complex of the two. We got a mill scale, 0.2 MRAD divisions, mm -hmm. extensive holdover dots, That's numbered nice. markings, tapered bars, illumination. They got a picture right there of the reticle that you're gonna be looking at. So numbered, good markings, and, and obviously you're gonna have to have holdover segments like that as you get further out past 100 yards. Okay, so there's a the magazine. Yep. Your typical kind of semi-round. That's right. Right here. Did you eject that yet? No. I you just insert it right I there. I believe you insert it there, correct. Oh, okay, okay. Really cool. So we got some stuff to learn about. I've never shot an air gun before, but I had BB guns growing up. Oh, yeah. Did it's it come with same. anything else besides this? Uh, it came with the optics. We got, oh, oh yes. This so cool. the 22 cal. We've got one, two, three, four, five cans of 22 cal shells. Jumbo heavy. <laughs> Jumbo heavy. Diablo. I've been called that a few times. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Diablo. Diabolo. Okay, made in the Czech Republic, very heavy. Oh yeah. What's the weight on this? 5.5 millimeter. It is okay, we've got a little cap ring for the scope. Here's the magazine right there. Yep. Is that a little laser cartridge to? No, I'll let you open it. Okay, nice. shipped out the impulse air suppressor. Crazy thing about this is this is not a regulated piece for the bad guys to regulate, right? Like right. they ship this to the door. There are, there's no gunpowder. There's, there's no regulated element to this. They can ship it to your door and, and you can go shoot magpies out the backyard. So. That's a nice tank. We, uh, yeah, they shipped, in. Yep. they shipped out a tank. <laughs> Which is bigger, um, that tank or my belly? I think it's the tank. The tank. But this is, uh, how much did they say it was? 4,500 PSI in there. So they, they shipped us air for a long time. How does it work? We're gonna have to figure it out. <laughs> how do you put the air from the, do you have to connect that to the gun? Yes. Like yes. a paintball gun? It should come, I There's think it's a hose, like, I think. Yeah, I think it's, it's, like paint, it's like the paintball guns. Cause with the long range air gun, you're not really being mobile, right? Like you're, you're hosing that to the rifle. Yeah, it's just like the, and then it's coming like that. So it's not like we have a small canister like paintball. We're, we're using the Mega. That was really cool of them to send out, right? Oh, yeah. I, I thought we were gonna have to go buy compressed air for this. That's heavy. That's very heavy. That's a lot. Yep. Um, really cool package here, Matt. I think you've got a lot of a lot of fun days ahead out the backyard yeah, with this. Yeah, we're gonna take this to the ranch and definitely play with it. We'll probably shoot in the backyard here too, but at the ranch, I think this will be a good time, good, really good time playing with this. And really check out this distance and see how far we can get it. It's amazing they have a suppressor because like the you air- You think it'd be quiet. Yeah, isn't already. it like, yeah. that's And then you put a suppressor on it, like you're not gonna be able to hear this at all. And it's not a real suppressor, ATF. I don't know. It's an impulse air gun, patent pending. Air gun use only. All right, we need to do in the video. We, we don't break to, rules. Yeah, but we need to try it with a suppressor and without a suppressor and see how it does. Right. Yeah, we'll, we'll get a little audible thing there and yeah. see see how loud it is. But really cool package. Uh, excited to break it down on the range and get you to uh, sight it in. I'll get sighted. I ain't gonna sight it in. Uh, Utah air guns. Uh, Pretty badass. The yeah. gun's light too. Really, really light. lightweight. All right. Well, Matt, you're the zeroing king. So how about you uh, hike downstairs and and get the zero? Okay. I'm gonna go outside and play. All right. Okay. I like this. Hey guys. So I think we got this pretty much figured out. We got the air in it. Figured that out. Got the magazine filled up. That was a uh, pretty easy. And then uh, we screwed on the suppressor. 
Now we're going to zero it and see how she does. We're gonna do it at 30 yards because that's how long the range is. How do it feel to shoot, man? It feels nice. I mean, you know, you think you're gonna have a lot of recoil because I'm so used to big guns, but of course no recoil, which is great. I mean, this thing's got some little, some balls to it. It shoots nice, I kinda like it. It's really quiet. I can get used to this. First shot was there, but then of course it wasn't dialed in. So then we dialed it in and that's where I'm at. Okay, we're gonna try to shoot a dinger out there. Large, medium, small. We're gonna see if it's decided in, give it a shot. It is very windy out here. Nice. There, I got it. So since we got this dialed in, there's five monster cans out there all shaken up and I'm hoping this little guy will make them explode. Let's find out. Which one are you aiming at first? Uh, bottom right. Bottom right. Ooh. Win. Hey -o. Bottom left. Closest to the center pole. Nice. Far left, bottom. Oh! Oh, give me, give me a shot. Give me a shot. Let me huh? try these. No! Why? Because you don't hit them. We want to get them hit on camera. Ooh, that was a nice shot. I'll let you have the last one. Nice. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Okay, well, we've got one last surprise out there for you guys. All right, let's see how we did here. Son of a bitch. Dude. That does wreck the cans pretty well. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Gotta thank Monster for sponsoring this shoot. Open those things all the way up. Yeah. Also, poor GoPro. Go, poor GoPro got covered in Monster. Give you a little sticky. All right. It's okay. So our surprise. So our surprise may go bang, may not. Uh, this is in my backyard of the house, so I had to be don it down a little bit. So let's shoot it and see what happens to the big skull. I like air rifles, they're cheaper to shoot, number one. Number two, they're pretty damn accurate. And number three, it may start a collection of air rifles and the wife's gonna kill me. But this one's pretty badass. Thank you to uh, Utah Air Guns for sending this out. This is pretty damn cool. Guys, hit like and subscribe and take care.